Oh, I think it should be terrific. So obviously a huge amount of ideas and, and a great debate, hopefully. I'm very excited what comes out of it. I feel optimistic and, uh, and I think we're going to get a lot of good stuff done. Are you right there? Yeah, it will be more than a talk piece. We had a little mini summit in uh, Victoria. We all got together on Monday night and I was amazed at how quickly people got to the point and started working things out. There's a lot of really intelligent people in that room and there's a lot of problem solving that's going to go on very rapidly, I think. It's a privilege and an honour to be here and a chance to contribute to you know the future of Australia. I suppose the big idea is, well, there are two big ideas. Now, we can have all these elaborate ideas, redesigning the Constitution and reframing uh, the way Parliament works, but if they lie to us, well, then we can't hold them to account for the way the system's meant to be. It's really good because we are staying abstract. We're not getting bogged down in, uh, you know, complaining about funding or, you know, the, the regular kind of conversations that you can tend to have when you come to Canberra. I have been here quite a few times. On that. I just don't want to... We don't want to bang on the same drum. We want to really open up the discussion. What I'd like to say is um, that I'm both privileged and apprehensive to be here today. I'm privileged because we've got some incredible talent in this room, but I'm apprehensive because it's such a huge agenda. And I likened it uh, in a couple of interviews yesterday to putting an octopus in a string bag. Um, we've got 100 valid opinions and not much time to imagine the future of Australia's governance. Someone told me the other day that we wouldn't come up with any new ideas, just recycle old ones. Colleagues, uh, it is clear that there are high expectations uh, of the productivity stream. Uh, I'm not too sure whether we're going to call ourselves colleagues or summiteers, but uh, I, summiteers feels good. <laughs> so uh, perhaps we should move to that language immediately. I just want to say from the outset that it's a measure of my uh, belief in this weekend that I'm here at all, because as you can imagine, I'd, I'd much rather be in bed. Um, but the opportunity that this weekend represents is great, and not because it's an end in itself, but because it's a beginning. And it's a beginning, I believe, really strongly, of a long and meaningful relationship between artists and the government, not as an adjunct to, but as a fundamental aspect of society. We don't want to get into a bidding war as to which group is the most desperate and the most deserving and the most... We actually want to say, how do we speak to the whole of society, all of whom live in families and communities, to say, we're all just frail humans trying to get by, aren't we? There are no official positions here today. I in no sense will be embarrassed at all by ideas that people put forward and they may be ones that the government may not agree with. The most important thing this weekend is for people to speak from the heart and also to have a hard head about the economic policies we require for the future. Let's just see what comes out this, this day. It's not... Uh, Choreographed. No one has written in concrete what you're going to arrive at uh, through this process. I would say most people are here to listen first, and I was a little nervous that people would come with their agendas there and just be ready to talk and not listen. But I think, uh, thankfully, people are. Uh, really listening. So has it been a battle to get your point of view across? No, not at all. Basically, I speak and uh, that's it. No, that's it. Everyone listens. <laughs>